Welcome, in front of me is a Cut S61 and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this phone. So, as you can see the phone right here is locked and to unlock it, we're gonna number one need to connect to Wi-Fi network, which I already am. And number two, you wanna go back to the first page of the setup, change the language to any kind of language that uses a different keyboard. So you can simply scroll all the way down and select anything that you want. I'm gonna go with Russian. And if you're using a language that you might not understand, simply press on the same buttons that I am. Now once you get to the page where you need to verify your account, simply tap on a field. Once the keyboard comes up, you're gonna hold the globe icon, which is next to the spacebar, and then go to language settings, and simply add a keyboard right at the bottom, and select any keyboard that doesn't have an arrow. So as you can see, basically all of them will work. There is some with an arrow, so for now we're gonna disregard them. Once you choose one, click on Add, which is the blue button, and go back to the first page. Change back the language to your desired one, which for me is English. And again, we're going to progress through the setup. Again, let's tap on a field and hold the globe icon once more. And this time around, you want to, number one, change the uh, keyboard to QWERTY. Hold it again and go to language settings once more, add a keyboard, and scroll down to the option with an arrow. So Albanian is one, and this in English. So from here, you want to tap on the three dots, go to help and feedback. And in describe your issue, type in two letters, M, O. This will bring up a suggested option called use Morse code. So let's tap on it. Click on the video to load it up, and then choose three dots and go to watch later, which will open up our web browser. Accept and continue, and no thanks. And once you have the web browser, you're gonna tap right at the top address bar and type in hardreset.info slash bypass. like so. If you need a moment to write it down, pause the video. From here, scroll down. Scroll down to settings application. And in the settings, you want to scroll down to security and location. You can scroll down to advanced and you will find screen pinning. Tap on it and then enable it and also make sure you enable the lock device when unpinning and this will give us the option to set up a pattern on our device or well, pin or password. So I'm gonna select something completely different. On the beginning of the video you've probably seen I did have a pattern so I'm gonna go with a pin this time around and secure startup no. So let's insert our pin one two three four that is something that I'm gonna use. You can use the same one if you want to. It might make things a little bit easier. Let's tap on next and then confirm that pin by typing it once more. Two, three, four, and confirm. And this will set up a pin on our device. So once you have added a pin, hold the power key and select restart. And just confirm our pin that we have set up. So one, two, three, four. And let's progress through the setup once more. So you will see a difference right here. So there's the verification area and now it's telling us to verify it using a pin instead of a pattern. Uh, what happened is once you set up a protection to the device, it overrides the old one. And in this case, it substituted the pattern for a pin.
So let's insert our pin that we have set up. So one, two, three, four. And this will allow us to finish up the setup. I'm gonna skip everything in the setup for now. And I advise you to do the same. And from here, once you're in the home screen, you want to navigate into your settings. Scroll all the way down to System, Advanced, Reset Options, Erase All Data Factory Reset, Reset a Phone. Come from your pin, so one, two, three, four. And then tap on Erase Everything. Now, I'm not gonna go through erasing everything. It is just uh, kind of unnecessary uh, to show this on video because what will happen once I press it, it the device will go through a factory reset and bring you back to the setup screen. But once the factory reset has been completed, the device will be fully unlocked. So you can set it up however you like. So that's why I'm not gonna go over it. Uh, but anyway, this is how you would bypass the Google verification on this phone. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.